Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to this channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share because why sharing Ivorian Spice is caring and for those who are watching from Facebook, remember to share as well and smash that like button and if you want your name to be shown on your comments, click the link description as well. And also, guys, or who are watching on YouTube, remember to smash that like button also. Remember to share as well. And have your super chats ready for me, guys. Make sure you get yourself involved. Those who are watching on Twitter, make sure you retweet that button. And those who want to contribute to the channel to get the best and better content, make sure you either contribute through PayPal in the link description and also by super chat if you're watching from if you're watching on YouTube. Boy, let's get straight into it, guys. Let's get straight into it. Manchester United nil, Liverpool five. Manchester United getting rinsed, getting absolutely trashed by Liverpool. Those dirty scousers, those bloody scousers. Manchester United getting thrown up by the bloody scousers at Old Trafford, at the Stratford end, conceding so many goals. Absolutely disgusting. Ah. Had enough of this. I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. I keep on saying, Oli out, Oli out, Oli out. That's what it is right now, guys. Oli out. And it was saying it. Manchester United fan, have you ever seen this? Old Trafford being left by fans just around the 61st minutes. So many fans leaving. This is an absolute disgrace. Manchester United losing so badly. And if, the, if you say the final nail was on the coffin, because last time, Manchester United lost to Liverpool against a certain someone against Jose Mourinho. That was the final nail on the coffin. And then the very next day, Oli was out. And guys, I want to see it tomorrow. I want to wake up 8 o'clock in the morning. And I hope he gets some into the office. 8 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. If not now, probably if they were serious at tonight. But tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning, get him in the office and say, good morning, Oli. I'm, I'm very sure you know what you're here for. Yes. It's your sacking. Here's your P45. Get the hell out. We've even booked a plane ticket to Norway. Get your hell ass out of here. Get your ass out of here. No one can save you. Not even Ragnar Lothbrok can save you today because your ass is on fire right now. And you saw it in Oli Gunnar Social's face, guys. You saw he was so damn roaring. You knew that for sure, that he knew he was going to go. His ass was going. The fans booing him, calling him all sorts of stuff, all sorts of names. Wanker, wanker, he deserves it. But it's an absolute disgrace for Manchester United to get humbled. Getting that humble pie at Old Trafford by Liverpool, our arch enemy. Manchester United fan, it is what it is. We're a laughing stock. You can laugh us. We deserve everything that comes to us right now. It was a horrendous piece of game for us to watch and, and, and we, we all sensed it the funny thing is that we all sensed it we thought you know what from the game that we played against Atlanta I won't be surprised if Manchester United go into that Liverpool game and start the same way and yes they did they started the same way straight away 2-0 down in that first 40 first 20 minutes guys in that first 20 minutes Manchester United was 2-0 down and you knew exactly from then whoo we're going to get pepped. We're going to get sexed up. We're going to get moved to, you know, we're going to get pumped. You know, we got doggy style today. We bent over for Liverpool tonight. You know, we said, you know what? Let me bend over for you. You know what? Do you, do you want some lube? Or do you want, prefer my spit? Or do you prefer my spit? Because I want to know what you like. Because if we're going to do this right, it's going to be the way you like it, right? And yes, we did exactly what we what, what we had to do for Liverpool. Bend over, give them spit. On top of that, give them Vaseline and give them lube for them to get it and give it to up, up our ass. Because that's what we got today. We got it up our ass. They, they, oh. Guys, I am so damn vexed. I'm so annoyed. Manchester United fans, let's go straight into that first 45 minutes, you know. Big up to Mohamed as well, who's tuned in. Big up to you. And we're just about to get live and kicking. Those for you that are watching as well, make sure you put, put in your comments as well. But let's get straight into that first 45 minutes. I have to say that first 45 minutes was poor. It was so dis, dis It was disappointing, guys. To see Manchester United crumble like that so damn early in the first 20 to 30 minutes against Liverpool. 
says a lot. Poor, poor, poor. Horrendous. I I thought Manchester United could do way better. And plus, in that second half, guys, you were thinking to yourself, come on, Manchester United. You, you, you can do well. You can do better. Even though we're, we're five nil, I mean, we're like four nil down in that first 45 minutes and Manchester United fans booing. Yeah, we understand that you, you, you can probably cut the courage. I know, but do better, do better, perform better. And Manchester United didn't do that. They didn't perform at all in that second half. They just got, it just got worse. And with Paul Pogba as well, ah, getting sent off. It's atrocious, guys, man. What, what, what can we do? It, the writing was on the wall the moment that Paul Pogba got sent off. It really was. I just said it to her. Yep, that's it. We're done. We're done for. We're really done for. Like, Oli, we definitely lost his game. Definitely lost this match. Definitely lost his job. It's all over for Wally Connoisseur. And, and the writing was on the wall, guys. And I told you, Manchester United fans, those who were so damn Oli in, it was like, oh, give the manager a chance, you know, back the club, back the manager. Yes, yes, but if you want better for your club, you should have realized, guys. You should have realized, you should have recognized. You really should have recognized. But oh, look, look at the situation right now. Manchester United getting humbled, getting you know, humiliated by Liverpool at Old Trafford, says, oh, man, we can't stick with this. We can't live with this anymore. We have to move on. Guys, we definitely have to move on from this. In that first goal, especially with that first goal, Liverpool, so damn easy, guys, the goal that we conceded against so Mo Salah. It's, it's, it's so easy. It, we're so damn open. Like... And it wasn't even more so, sorry, it wasn't even more so that I scored the first goal. It was Naby Keita who scored the first tap in. And then 2-0 in, Jota as well. Maguire and Shaw making love to each other. I don't know, that's what I call it. I call it making love to Shaw because Shaw always wants to, and Maguire always wants to F up as soon as he comes back from a stupid injury, especially in the big games. He always wants to grab up Shaw. Do you have a thing for Shaw in big games? Because I remember you doing this last time. You grabbed up and touched up, Paul. I mean, Shaw, pull him out the way. Making love to Shaw all the time. Do you have feelings towards Luke Shaw? Because why? Why did you guys do that? It was so damn clumsy by Luke Shaw and Maguire for us to concede that goal, the second goal. And then the third goal, Mel Salah again. Huh, it, was, it was looking peak by then. It, by that time, all us Manchester United fans were just saying, yep, writing on the wall. We are out. He's out. Oli out. And then 4 0 just getting worse. It's getting horrifying. My guts was just down. I was down, guys. By that time, I was crying, Manchester United fan. And then from 5 0, when Pogba got sent off after losing the ball, so damn easy. But Bile wanted uh, Oli got a to go home so badly. He's like, you know what? I don't want you no more. I don't like you. I want to get sent off. And I want to give the ball away as well. And which he did. He gave the ball away. Liverpool can score in another goal, making it 5 0. Mo Salah. And on top of that, getting sent off. Even though Ronaldo scored a goal, VAR came into it, disallowed it. But yeah, it is what it is, Manchester United fan. Players, of course, let's talk about McTominay, but big up to guys, big up to football capital that says that it's time for a change. It truly is time for a change, guys. As always, guys, remember to smash that like button, remember to share, also remember to subscribe, and also get your super chat in if you want to contribute as well to the channel, and also press the description if you want to contribute towards via PayPal. But yes, Queen says, no way, Oli in. I know you're trolling. Oli definitely not in. Oli out. It's time for a change. We need to move on. Like, the relationship is still. Oli sleeps on the sofa these days. He doesn't even sleep with us on the bed no more. The guy is, like, sleeping on the sofa nowadays. That's how you know he's getting no love from us. But, yeah, back to McTominay. I have to say, McTominay is horrendous. He's shit. He has nothing to offer to us. He hasn't. He, sh he doesn't shop. He stole all the time. Hides in games, guys. McTominay hides in games. He makes himself unavailable to receive passes and, and help progress the ball up the, up the pitch. He's not there. He's never there. He doesn't show himself. People say, well, McFred, I mean, Fred, 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 this and that. But you have to look at McTominay as well. He was so damn horrible as well. Never showing himself. Big up, Queen as well said, the boys are not great, no matter 
the matter the manager the players are just subpar yeah I, I don't think the the players are that subpar we are fantastic players right now it's just that we don't have that manager to get us anywhere in the field to, to give to give, give us success as well and also another player that paid shit was Maguire. Maguire was horrible including Paul Popo, who had 50 minutes capable to get sent off. Why? Why? Why Why not include him in the starting line if he's going to get sent off? And of course, as well, Ronaldo is not there today. Ne had one of his worst games. And we do not play to his strengths. We definitely do not play to Ronaldo's strength. And I know he's frustrated, especially in a game like this against Liverpool. He's probably annoyed. He looked at everyone as well in the dressing room thinking... Kiss my teeth, you guys make me sick. And the manager as well, not knowing, not knowing what he's doing as well. And right now, Oli's looking so damn suspect, guys. Guys, smash that like button as well. We Liverpool fans, get your hell out of here as well, guys. It's been a horrible game for Manchester United. It's been a horrible day for Manchester United in general. It's been the worst day of them all. 5 0, one of the biggest defeats we've ever taken from Liverpool. You know, we have to go to work tomorrow. Make sure that you're making us go to work tomorrow, hiding like McTominay does in midfield, hiding to receive the pass. I am going to be avoiding all my work colleagues. People, young kids at school have to go to young kids who go to school have to go to school and hide from their friends. You know, mental health, man. United, you're destroying our mental health, man. United. You're hurting us. We can't go to it. We can't show our face. We can't go to school. We can't study in peace because why? The ups will be all up in our ears. Look at that now. Arsenal are laughing at us right now. They're level on points with us. Oh, Arsenal are level on points with us. And we was laughing at them not so long ago. But look at us now. Embarrassing. Big up to Football Capital. says that Klopp said at half time to he, the player that needed to play better. Come on. These players. I knew that Klopp probably said definitely. He definitely wanted to motivate them. He said, he said look at these scrubs, Man United. Who are their scrubbish manager. They're not even playing. You guys are playing shit now. You know, hasn't played better, and so they did. They played better and scored one more goal and cemented it. That's that's what a real manager wants to do once he wants to go for the kill and live. And Oli himself doesn't know what it's like to go for the kill. He's never was a hunter. I can tell. What what kind of fake Viking is this? This is going on raid. He doesn't even raid too much. You know, you don't raid in other stadiums parades like you don't go and steal everything, take their gold nets and everything. You know, take their gold. Take everything, the trophies, you know, you don't pack them in. You don't raid. You're the worst Viking I've ever heard of. Ragnar Lothbrok's spirit is not with you, my friend. They got Queen said that the team can't always depend on Ronaldo. You guys are overhyped, him. Yeah. And then also, Wally Gunner Social, I have a message for you. Pack your bags. Just leave. You know what? You know what? Just, just, just leave the country. Don't even go back to Norwich. You know what? Just, just leave Earth. Just leave Earth. You just, just leave Earth because you're an embarrassment. You're not going to get in any other job. You don't, don't. You don't even deserve it. You never got. You don't, don't. You don't have the charisma. You don't have the bottles. You don't have the minerals. Whatever to manage Manchester United. You just don't have it. You was never. You never don't have the it factor. You never was it, mate. And all this sentiment about our oh, ex-manager, ex-legend, and all that stuff. Get it out. Spit it. You did out your mouth. Go spit it out. And realize, Ugh, this thing's nasty. That he ain't the one. Definitely ain't the one, guys. But yes, big ups to you guys. This has been your match reaction. And let me tell you what my man in the match was, because there was nothing. Don't give the match goes to everyone else. For those who were tuning, make sure you smash that like button as well. It is Oli out. It is what it is, man. Let's 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 just wake up tomorrow morning and let. It let us see that Oli has been sacked because we can't take none of this at any moment. This has been your match reaction by Boris Spice. Remember to follow the official Instagram account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV One, baby, and also the official TikTok account, which is Ready Night TV, and also my personal Instagram account, which is Ivory and Underscore Spice, and all same for the Twitter guys as well. Remember to follow me on Twitter. And last but not least, remember to contribute to the channel by free of PayPal in the link description. And also, if you're looking for fresh clothes, we got that in the link description. If you're looking for the for your lead eyewear for your shades, we got that in the link description as well. And also for catering for food, African fine cuisine, we got that in the link description as well. And those as well, make sure you tune in. Make sure you keep it so keep yourself united, guys. Big up to
Who wants to go and do that again? Liverpool on su- Sunday, we see what happens. Paul Scott predicted that may happen today. That's true. And it did. It definitely did. Make sure you subscribe. Smash that like button if you're new to the channel as well. And as always, guys, if you remember to keep it united and remember to keep it regulated. You know what? It hurts Manchester United fans. It really does hurt. Like, it really does. Anyway, as always, peace out. See you next time. Tune in for the catch-up, volume 63, tomorrow at 8 p.m. UK time. Peace.